adipose tissue. And we're talking here, it's important to keep in mind, we're talking in grams. This is not percent data. This is gram data you've been looking at. The mass of adipose tissue in the body appears to be regulated, including in the face of caloric excess and surgical depletion. In response to surgical depletion, adipose tissue mass can be restored with increases first in fat cell size, but also in fat cell number as recovery continues, especially if a high fat source is available. Adipose mass restoration is depot specific in both rodents and humans, although total body fat mass can be completely restored by a combination of partial regeneration and compensatory growth in other depots. While hormonal signals may participate in adipose mass regulation, and that's not ruled out yet, it appears that both spinal afferent and sympathetic nervous system efferent innervation of white adipose tissue may be the primary mediator of adipose mass regulation. Okay, just going to leave you with a final question. We, we haven't answered all the questions. We've really just started asking them. The ultimate question about adipose mass regulation is what in the brain is sensing adipose mass information, integrating it, and active, integrating it because you have several depots, you have multiple depots, and actively regulating fat mass in absolute gram amounts. Is this the long loss set point? So I go to bed.